Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name's Gigi. Let's get started. In today's lesson and project, you'll need one worksheet, they'll be in the description box below, one pencil, one paper, colored pencils, and or watercolors if you'd like. So let's get our worksheets out. We're going to fill out the top part of the worksheet first. It should look pretty familiar for those who watch the color wheel lesson. We're going to fill red on the top of the color wheel, then going clockwise, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Now that we have our color wheel filled out, let's dive into today's lesson. What are complementary colors? Complementary colors are colors that are opposite on the color wheel. We're going to start with our first set of complementary colors that are the most popular, red and green. For people who practice a Christian-based faith or celebrate Christmas, this color combo should look pretty familiar. The next set is orange and blue, and the last and least popular is yellow and purple. For those who watch the warm and cool colors video, every warm color has a cool color complement tree. So red being a warm color and green being a cool color. Now for the bottom part of your sheet, we're going to fill in these three sets of complementary colors. And with that, our worksheet is complete. For this project, I'm going to start by drawing a heart on the middle of my paper. Then I'm going to draw diagonal lines across the paper going through the heart. And then every other line should be green. And then in the empty spaces that are left over, they're going to be red. Feel free to add any designs or any other little outlines if you'd like.
For this project for mixed media, I started by drawing a circle and then squares in the background. Now I'm going to draw the inside of my lemon. Fun tip, if you want to choose a different color theme than mine, I'm using yellow and purple, feel free to make them into any other type of fruit, such as an orange with a blue background or a lime with a red background. As long as you're using one set of complementary colors, you're fine. And then once I'm done drawing, I'm going to start with my watercolors, making the inside of the lemon yellow, and then the squares in the background purple. And then for the lines in between, you don't have to do this, but I chose to put yellow in there. Once the watercolor is dry, then I go in and start adding details with purple and yellow colored pencils.
Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Stay happy, hydrated, and healthy. See you next time.